morning and it's rainy outside it's a horrible day here in lockdown town so what we're going to do is i'm going to do a nice chicken casserole i'm going to do it really easy because this is my channel um yesterday i went shopping and i bought some casserole vegetables nice yellow sticker 75 p i'd also got and so from shopping previously a couple of days ago a cooked chicken so i'm going to use half of that half i'm going to use in sandwiches and salads the other half i'm going to pop in my casserole i have also made up some nice really thick gravy see how thick that is mega thick you can even make it thicker if you want <laughs> because we all know that in the slow cooker things um, dilute because of the moisture in the vegetables so I've made that gravy with just gravy granules for chicken and I've popped in a chicken stock just for richness just one cube and these are just cheap ones from Aldi but they're really good okay um, in it I am going to pop in my usual <laughs> mixed herbs if you follow me you'll know I love my mixed herbs Worcester sauce. For me, that's a staple for any casserole. And black peppercorns. Black pepper, which I'm running really low on. Okay, I'm not going to put any salt in because for me, if I use the gravy granules and the stock cube, it's salty enough. So that's just personal, but I do think there's an awful lot of salt in these things, so I don't like to add any more. Okay, so I've washed my hands. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the meat off my cooked chicken. Now you don't have to take the meat off if you don't want. You can just pop it in. For me, I don't like to faff about at the end taking the bones out and the skin and whatever. So... Um, I'm just going to take off the flesh, take the meat off the bone as they say. Okay, just... okay, so what I've done is I've taken my meat off the bone, left it quite rustic, quite, quite chunky. Um, if I'm using a mix with potatoes in it, a casserole mix with potatoes in and I'm using a slow cooker I always halve my potatoes in that they're smaller because they're the thing that's going to take the longest in your slow cooker so um, top tip with that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my chicken on top of my vegetables Veg vegetables want to be on the bottom because they're the ones that are going to take the longest to cook. Bear in mind, this is already cooked. Okay, put that there. Now then, when you buy a um, ready cooked chicken, you're going to get um, the juice from the chicken in there. Basically, um, it's a bit of just the juices from the chicken that have solidified in the bottom. Don't throw it away. That's the good bit. So you're gonna pop it in. It goes jellyfied. And go and pop it in with the chicken. Please don't throw it away. It's the tastiest bit, and you're going to really, really love that in your casserole. So all that okay. So now I'm going to sprinkle my mixed herbs on top. If they're dried mixed herbs, you can use more because they're not as powerful as fresh. Um, sprinkle of lean parents. twist of black peppercorns and pour over your gravy. Now I'm not going to want this till this evening so I am going to pop it on medium for an hour and then I'm going to pop it on low for the rest of the day. Um, if you're going out and leaving this you can just depends how long you're going out for but if I was going out for the day I would still 
pop it on on low um, and then I would pop it up to medium just before I'm going to serve it probably an hour half an hour before I'm going to serve it if I was out all day okay so we're going to come back at the end of the day and see what this looks like okay Hi, yesterday I was making the uh, spent mackerel pate with the lemon and I'd got some lemon left over. I didn't throw it away. So if you just pop it into the microwave for a few seconds, it actually cleans and deodorizes your microwave. So please don't throw it. If you've got any lemon left over, all it needs is a wipeout. It smells really nice gets rid of all those horrible odours that linger in the microwave um, and you can always pop it in a little bit of water if you haven't got an awful lot of lemon I've got half good half a lemon so that was okay um, popped it on for about 20 seconds 25 seconds if you haven't got much lemon pop it in um, a little bit of water and do exactly the same trick but um, nice clean odor free microwave okay so i'm about to uh, check the ch chicken casserole it's been cooking in the slow cooker for about five hours about five five and a half hours now okay so very careful because it is very hot and uh, yeah absolutely lovely just checking the potatoes very difficult with the plastics, boom, but yeah, they're done. It's going in quite easily. So I'm just going to excuse if the lens goes all steamy, it's really quite hot. <laughs> okay, pop it in a bowl. Beautiful chunks of chicken, it smells absolutely amazing. So Go and make it. It's really simple. And have a lovely chicken casserole. Please like and subscribe and enjoy your chicken casserole.